What's going on my beautiful governors? Welcome to any Rise of Kingdoms video. Today we are going to make a step-by-step -step guide about archer equipment. As you can see we have a tier list in front of us and it goes like early, early, mid, mid, late, late and end game. Basically what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at every single archer equipment and discuss which equipment in early game, mid game, late game, whatever you should craft and also which equipment you should avoid. So even if you have one archer march and if you are thinking about how you should build the equipment of that archer march depending on the age or the stage of your account this video is going to be perfect for you so without further ado starting with early let's go spartans what is your profession <laughs> all right so when i say early i'm basically talking about the very start of the game so in this tier we are going to have some white equipment but to be honest you are not going to spend that much time with white equipment but this is going to be great for you sturdy boots 2% archer defense i think it's really good even though the quality i mean the rarity is just normal it's a white equipment for legs we don't have anything for gloves we don't have anything chest though it's a really good one chainmail straight up 3% archer attack i think it is pretty pretty decent helm we don't have anything and also weapon uh, doesn't provide us any bonuses let me show you the helm as well yeah it's just infantry attack now this is the only two white pieces that we can have in early game like at the very start first couple of days in the game and then we are going to transition into early to mid game and how are we going to do that we will basically fill our <laughs> naked slots so far we only have boots and chest so we are going to go to legs and see if there are any green pieces that we can use for archers yes we do we do have ranger trousers it's only two percent but at least it is defense it's better than nothing for glows we have a good one 2.5 percent archer health definitely a great craft leather glows since we do already have a chest piece we're gonna move to helm it is another good equipment in my opinion helm of the phoenix four percent archer defense definitely worth crafting and for weapon blast blade is our best bet sadly it is attack four percent archer attack but this is how our archer gear is going to look like in early to mid game let's say in the first one to two months of your account and then we are going to transition into mid game wait i don't have the mid game tier what the <laughs> my bad now our first goal should be upgrading our white equipment however when we look at our two white pieces which is chest and boots none of these blue pieces are giving us any bonuses like it's literally nothing so we're going to keep this one however when we move to chest this is going to be a massive upgrade commander's heavy armor from three percent attack you are going to jump to six percent archer health this is going to be massive so in the mid game you definitely want to have this chainmail on your archer marches. And after that, we are going to take a look at our green equipment and see which one has the weakest stats. So that is going to be our first upgrade. And to me, this 2% archer defense is the next weakest one. So it's going to be a really nice upgrade again. Greaves of the Exile, 6% archer defense. And then, of course, our weapon. It gives us archer attack. And now, with Stuff of the Lost, archer defense eight percent another massive upgrade like when you move to mid game your archer gear starts to look like very very solid we don't have any options to upgrade our helm gear uh, but honestly like four percent archer defense from this green piece i think is amazing and lastly for glows we do have a saint song it gives us four percent archer attack on paper yes it is more stats but i definitely prefer leather glows the reason is yes it does give 2.5 percent of stats but it gives us health and on top of that in rise of kingdoms overall it is really easy to get a special talent on blue equipment however at the very start of the game like let's say we are in the mid game four to five months it's going to be much more easier for you to get a special talent on an advanced i mean green equipment compared to a blue one and that's why since you can get very very easily special talent on this leather glows i would definitely keep my archer health 2.5 percent over saint songs which is archer attack four percent so this is how your mid game archer gear is going to look like and now we're going to craft some epic gear and they will indeed is going to be epic because when it comes to archers they do have the only epic set in the game which is the revival set it has four pieces helm chest glows and legs so these four are obviously are going to be our immediate upgrades in mid to late game when you have two pieces from the revival set you are going to get as a bonus three percent troop attack and then we are going to have an extra bonus which is troop defense three percent 
I think it is pretty sexy. However, here is the key part. If we take a look at two pieces from the Revival set, uh, Revival Plate and Revival Greaves, they give you attack and defense. And honestly, the blue alternatives that we already have, Commander's Heavy Armor instead of attack, we have Archer Health. And now on this one, Greaves of the Exile, we do already have really good amount of defense. So they're going to be our last options. Actually, the first thing that you want to craft when you start moving to crafting epics is, in my opinion, flame threads. Because now what you are doing is you are upgrading a white equipment that you kept all the way through mid to late game. And we are going to upgrade it to Cloud Racers. So in my opinion, that should be your first epic craft in Rise of Kingdoms when you are upgrading your Archer gear in mid to late game. And then we are going to craft two pieces from Revival set. My first priorities would be Revival Hand first. Let's put it right here. And after that, I will go for Revival Gauntlets. I know Gauntlets are giving you attack, but what we are trying to achieve right here is that since we are delaying the craft of chest and legs, just by getting the helm and the glows, we are basically rushing to get these two pieces for that extra troop attack 3% bonus. And only after that, I will go ahead and get myself a revival greaves and also a revival plate. And this way, we are able to reach four pieces like full revival set, which gives us 6% in total, 3% attack, 3% defense bonus, other than you know all the stats that the gear itself is providing. And the only blue gear left on our equipment is Stuff of the Lost. It is great, 8% Archer defense, and you can get a special talent on it. Like, in, you're in the mid to late game. Now you should be able to easily start getting special talents on your blue gear. And the more expensive alternative is going to be Golden Age. Clearly, Golden Age is uh, better than Stuff of the Lost, but this one still works. You can keep it, but honestly, when you start moving from mid to late game, like when you get close to the late game, you definitely want to get yourself a golden age to complete your epic set and this is in the mid to late game for our archer commanders now we are in the late game so we are going to start crafting some sweet legendaries now my rule of thumb here is that not touching revival pieces very fast however when you upgrade revival plate which gives you archer attack to dragon's breath chest it's a night and day difference this is going to be definitely one of my very first crafts but before crafting the chest piece i will most likely craft the boots and this way yes this one actually provides defense and our epic one is already providing good chunk of health however what we are trying to do is we are trying to delay you know breaking that revival set because of the bonuses so i will first craft the boots and then craft the chest and now they go down to three pieces but in return now we reach two pieces from dragon breath set for again extra three percent attack and now since we went down to three pieces from revival set this means we can also get rid of one more extra revival piece and to me that will be revival gauntlets just because it's giving attack the other two pieces that we are still keeping from revival set is the greaves which gives us 7.5 percent defense and the helm and this one also gives us 7.5 percent defense and that's why what i'm trying to do is not touching those equipment pieces that are giving me defensive stats either health or defense so i'm definitely keeping my greaves and the helm piece as long as possible so what i'm going to do is actually instead of an archer gear i will go to a leadership gear gauntlets of the glorious goddess because it gives us six percent troop defense if we take a look at our alternative which is going to be basically dragon's breath warm braces it again gives us attack but what what i like to do is building my archers as tanky as possible with hp and defense and that's why i will definitely go for gauntless of the glorious goddess let me put it on the tier list as well bro where is that there we go finally oh my god and now what we are going to do is since we already crafted one piece from glorious goddess set we are going to go up to two pieces so that we can get this extra 3% troop defense bonus. And for that, we are going to craft... I, I cannot pronounce it. I think it's pronounced chest... whatever. Uh, legs of the Glorious Goddess. And this will give us 8% troop health. This is insane. Like, this is super powerful. And this will also, as I said, enable two pieces set bonus, which is extra 
3% troop defense. We put this on the tier list as well. And now in the late game, the only two epic pieces that we have is the Revival Helm and the Golden Age. And we will actually upgrade them in the end game section because what we are going to craft is, you guessed it right, KVK items. The first one is going to be the Hydra's Blast, 25% Archer defense. Doesn't get better than that. And this might surprise you, but the Helm... <laughs> It's going to be controversial, but it is what it is. The helm, surprisingly, is going to be not an archer helm, not a leadership helm, but a cavalry helm, Pride of the Khan. And the reason why we are picking up a Pride of the Khan is it provides us 8% archer health. Our options are if we go for extra leadership equipment, troop attack, we don't like it, Ancestral Mask of Night, again, archer attack, and the other one, Dragon's Breath Helm, archer attack. So this is actually... The only equipment, legendary equipment piece when it comes to Helm that is giving us a defensive stat, which is health, the best one, it's only 8%. You could say that, bro, like it's 15% attack versus 8% health. But I just believe that archers are already dealing so much damage, especially with all that crazy AoEs. I think what you need to do when it comes to gear, when it comes to equipment, is boosting the survivability of your archers as much as possible, I think it's going to yield the best results. This is our final like, end game archer gear. We are going to do this exact same video for cavalry and infantry as well. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss them. And here is a big question. Should you main archers in 2024? Make sure to tap on it and I see you there.